Hey, sexy. What's going on? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Fine cooking. That's good. You sure you doing all right? You don't sound like it. <laughs> what's going on? Well, I'm about to come over there. I want to see you. That's cool. I'm just cooking. Well, you know, I'll be there in about 35 minutes. Okay, okay. Hey, I know you got your hair done today. You over there looking all fabulous, huh? Of course. <laughs> Can't wait to see you, baby. All right. Bye. I really hate for it to come to this, you know, but let me show y'all something. Look at this. This dirty water. No, look at me, look at me. This is dirty water right here. Don't ever mess with me, ever. I'm sure. Pick this bucket. Woo! That's one heavy bucket. This is gonna be fun. Hey, hey baby. What's up? You know? Doing me. Can't see you. About to wash my car though. Oh, okay. Let me get the. I have some chamois in the garage. Yeah. Haters are hating again, you know. Gotta buff these scratches out. Thanks a lot for the chamois. You got any, uh. You got any detergent or some dishwashing liquid? Um, it's all locked up in here. You know, I noticed something lately. You're looking a little dry. <gasps> Water, the healing of the earth, baby. Go, actually. Can I say f yeah and you bleep it? No. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, man! Great job! Mission accomplished! Alright, alright, alright. I think it's about time for the show. Everybody, please take your seat. Ed Magic TV. Let's have a good time. Uh, I'm your host, Apollo. Raw and uncut, grimy and gritty. It's time for the show. This is my city. This is my, my city. city. This is my, my city. city. This is my city. This is my city. I led the ladies and the fellas too. Got the hot interviews and the hip hop news. The skits are hilarious. We live in your area. This is my city. This is my city. What up, y'all? It's your boy Apollo. You're watching This Is My City on Ed Magic TV. We about to back up out of here for this special announcement. Come on, let's go. What up, y'all? You're watching This Is My City on Ad Magic TV. It's your boy Apollo. I am your host, and I'm here with 211, the business. What up, Two? What's popping with it, man? This is my city, Young Inglewood. It's going down, man. 
Hell yeah, man. So a lot of y'all out there know 211 already. You know what I'm saying? He came to the public eye, you know, doing his thing with Young Jeezy and CTE. I got him here right now. He's doing big things, dropping mixtapes, man. We just want to find out what's going on with my boy, too, right now. What inspires you to get into the rap game in the first place? Let's just take it to square one, you know? I mean, the money moves me, you know what I'm saying? That's my motivation, so... You know, I just inspire myself with this grind, you know what I'm saying, and, and work at it and try to be the best at it, you know? That's what I'm on. So, too, man, as far as, like, the rap game, is this always something that you wanted to do? Basically, it, it, it's really something that just happened, you know? I was, like, at a young age, you know what I'm saying? I was I was out of town working for, you know what I'm saying, major labels and just, just like, um, networking with different people. And, you know, um, I really wasn't no rapper, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. Like, I was always on my money, you know what I'm saying? I was getting money, so... This, this rap game, this industry is like new to me, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm just getting in where I can fit in at, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and get my name, you know what I'm saying, out there as big as it could be. You seem to have had, you know, the capability to stand out. What do you think it is that distinguishes you from other artists out here in L.A. right now coming up out the West Coast? I'm the business, man, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, ain't too many get down like I get down, you know what I'm saying? This is LA, so you know, the background really gotta be, the background really gotta be in pocket, you know what I'm saying, out here, or these LA won't take it seriously. So I'm 100 in these streets, you know what I'm saying, west of the 110, everybody know about me. So just trying to figure out how, how to be on all these TV shots, how to be on all the videos, and, and how this be grinding like how he be grinding, man. He was, I went to school with this Man, you know what I'm saying? This and that, this and that is just like, man, I'm me. What's it like being a celebrity coming up, man? The ladies, they just come up to you in the club and like throw their drawers at you or man, whatnot? Man, I don't get off on that celebrity. I'm still the same hood right. new when I was up at Inglewood and then about of Westchester and oh, it just, I'm a businessman now, man. I'm trying to do my, I'm trying to go corporate on these people, you did. Where do you see yourself in the future? I'm be at the top, man, you know what I'm saying? I probably won't even be in this rap game 10 years from now, man. I, I'm gonna get in, get my money, and get out, and, and, and just branch off to, um, you know, what I'm saying different, different businesses. I'm gonna I'm, I'm be like a real entrepreneur out here. And how does Inglewood come into play with you and who you are as a person and as an artist? Inglewood is me. I am Inglewood, and it's going down, man. You know. If there's any words of advice that you got to other rappers who want to be where you at right now, what would it be? Stay on your grind, stay consistent, stay putting something out, stay, uh, get your face seen, you know what I'm saying? And um, just, you know what I'm saying? Be, be you, man, don't be like everybody else. You ain't gonna get nowhere with that. Um, what they say, no struggle, no progress. You heard right, homeboy, yeah, I've been a vet. I got the streets on smash like the internet. Gangsta swag, I'm fly like I'm in a jet. I hit the stage like the mic like a cigarette. Flows is crack, they calling it yay. Hey, I spit bars, call it Pelican Bay. Lights out, put on the bed and count my bread. I know a lot of jealous want to see me dead yeah before rap i was already hustling before i rapped it i was weighing up a hundred grams overnight in it priority baby i got that cash flow tree baby 211 rob hip hop throw a gangsta party on the day my drop whole club full of goons and guns stunt because and rock jewels just for fun uh swag on stupid single out right now download that on itunes you know what i'm saying 211 the business you know what i'm saying y'all can holler at me at myspace backslash 211 the business t-h-a-b-i-z-n-e-s-s -S. it's going down man no patience 211 dj ill will coming soon you know what i'm saying i'm killing in the streets you know product of the block i might put out the product of the block again call it reloaded you know what i'm saying because i'm killing them out here man you know load another clip let's go ah that's a message for any young artist or any young person trying to come up out here, you know what I'm saying, and do your thing. Just remember to be yourself, like my man Two said, and just keep it 100 with yourself. Stay positive and stay focused.
Hey yo, what's going on? It's your council party Rob, man. You know what I mean? I'm chilling with This Is My City, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you check out Checkmate Entertainment. A lot of exclusives going down, you know what I'm saying? We got Checkmate Radio, which is me, Polly Rob, the counselor, as well as Eris the Terrace, you know what I mean? Check out Big Y and his brand new single, Big Boys, featuring Mac 10, Game, Jim Jones, TQ. He's shining right now, man. Make sure you go get that on iTunes, as well as my single that's coming up, you know what I mean? F is for fresh, please. F is for fresh, my new single, you know what I'm saying? Featuring Big Y, Bishop Lamont, and Problem. It's really going down, man. So definitely stay tuned with Checkmate. We're doing a lot of big things right now, you know what I mean? We got Big Y's album coming up. We got Sue Whoop the Movement coming up, you know what I mean? It's a lot, lot of exclusives, you know what I mean? So stay tuned and stay locked to Checkmate ENT. This is Checkmate.ning.com. My peoples, my peoples, what up? You know what it is, it's your boy Apollo. You're watching This Is My City on Ed Magic TV. We're in Inglewood here at the Village of Century and I'm here with Lenita. How are you doing today? Fine. Fine? Yes. Sure. Yes. You sure about that? Yes. You really sure? Yes. Okay, I got that. All right, for sure, so check it out, Miss Lenita. What are you doing up here today, first off? You say you used to live in Inglewood, so is this a common area for you, Village of Century? Yes. Yes? How long you, uh, how long you been living in Inglewood before you moved? Uh, two years. Two years? Why you leave us? Well, another place. So what's up? Tell me something about yourself. <laughs> well, I'm easy going and I'm nice. <laughs> what? You're, well, you're easy going and you're not? <laughs> nice. 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 You are nice. I can tell. Look at that pretty smile, y'all. Are you shy? Yeah. You got a very pretty smile. Smile for the camera, please. <laughs> That's a pretty smile. I'm here with Chris. Chris, what up with you, man? Ain't nothing. So, so we here in Inglewood. It's a little chilly day today. You know what I'm saying? We're out here with the coats on. That's not usual. But uh, man, what brings you to the city today? To the shopping center here? Yeah, I'm coming to the shopping center because this is the spot. Oh, all the burn up. There's some good shopping up here. I get my clothes at this place behind us mostly. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite spot right there. Chris, what's your profession? I'm a bartender. Word up. Now that's a cool job, man. You like it? Yes, I love it. What's the perks, man? Hey, that's one of the joys of life. <laughs> and uh, I know the ladies. Are, yeah, yeah. No problem there, huh? No problem with the ladies. Do you get any strange things happening? I, I get flashed a lot. <laughs> flashed? Yeah. Dancing on top of the bar and stuff? No, they don't get that crazy. Uh, so have you ever had the females, they try to slip you a little something for a free drink or something, try to slip you the number or whatever? Uh, sometimes, not much. Word up, man. Any bars in Inglewood that you like? No, I never really go out. What's the drink that the ladies seem to like the most? The sweet, fruity drinks. Sweet, fruity drinks. Are there any in particular? Uh, they got your notebooks. Sex on the beach. Sometimes they might go for adios. So those might be some cool drinks right there to get popping at the house if you got some company coming over or whatnot. That's right. What's your regular your regular routine outside of coming up to the village of Century, man, and uh, hanging out in the shopping center? Just basically work in church. Work in church, man. Good brother right there. And uh, what's your church? Uh, Christ our Redeemer in Irvine. All right, so you do, do you have any special, you know, tasks or uh, jobs that you do there? I run a video camera in church. I am here with Renita. How you doing today? Say that fine again, because I had the mic over here. I got to have it here. I'm fine. That's great. That's great. So uh, we're up here at the Village of Century, and I understand you're from Inglewood. She's from the wood, and it's all good. So um, how long you been here in the city? Um, I've been staying here now for all my life, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, really. So, I mean, you went to Inglewood High School or Morningside? Oh, no, I went to Washington High. I didn't know what. Why is that? I don't know. Just my parents never sent me there. That's what's up. That's what's up. You work here in Inglewood? Yes, I work here. Work here and live here? Yes. Do a lot of things here? Yes. Wonderful. What is it that you love about Inglewood? 
I like that that they put new like shopping areas in the community. Um, they put a Red Lobster at Chili's. I like that. Um, it's just a lot of places for you know people to shop. I like the shopping centers definitely. Word up! I'm hearing a lot of that. I'm hearing a lot of that, man. And that's stuff that I just kind of take for granted sometimes because I've been in Inglewood so long, you know. But when I look at it, I'm like, wow, it's been a lot of improvement here, you know. Usually, you got to go out of the hood to get these type of stores. Oh yeah, true, true, true. So you feel like this is somewhere you can come without making that big trip and get some cool stuff. That's right. Word up, man. So is there anything that you don't like about Inglewood? No. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't got no problem with that. <laughs> Living here is quiet in certain areas is very quiet. When you think about the lovely city of champions, Inglewood, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, it's quiet. You like quietness. She likes peace. Peace and quiet. Don't be too loud around Lanita. <laughs> what do you miss about the eye? Uh, just the shopping areas. Who's more talented, Beyonce or Jay-Z? Jay-Z. Why is that? How you say that? Why? I just like Jay-Z more better. Oh, okay. So it's, a, it's an attraction thing. Okay. Physical attraction. Okay. Y'all heard that. Who you think's more talented, Beyonce or Jay-Z? Beyonce. And why do you say that? Because look at her, she's beautiful, she's talented. Um, I think she's she holding it down. She is. Now I love Mariah Carey. And I know I yeah, I like see but Beyonce can dance. Yes. She can dance, she got the look, she got the body, she got it all. She got it all, y'all. And I agree. Jay-Z, but Beyonce got the looks. Beyonce got the looks. But we just talking about talent though. You know, as far as like who you think is a more talented songwriter musician? Jay-Z. I agree, but I love Beyonce. Like you said, I can watch that one video, you know, where, uh, what is it, uh, put a ring on it. I can watch that like a million times in a row. Hey, Jay Z had the talent to pull Beyonce. Exactly. That's talent right there. Who's your favorite rapper of all time? Jay Z. Jay Z. He's up there in my top, like, five. He might be in my top three, but word up. I like Lil Wayne. Of all time? I just like Lil Wayne. That's the only person I like. So before Lil Wayne, you didn't like no rappers? I don't care for rap. I only like Lil Wayne. How about Tupac? He all right. I knew I'd get you with that one. <laughs>
if I hear his order during the summer, if I hear his order, huh? Where do I work? I work at a tan salon. That was crazy right there. Basically what you just saw happen is Porno was attempting to get into the club with my ID. But it, as you see, it was a very blown up version of my ID. And it's funny because nobody up there, you know, noticed that that was me, you know, or at least they didn't say anything, but maybe it's the hood, you know, but that's crazy right there. We're gonna try that a few more times tonight and see how that works out. This is my city, Ed Magic TV. I'm your host, Apollo. Let's continue. We're up in the Sapphire Lounge. It's packed up in here. I'm here with my man Burst Rock and my man K-Man. What up with y'all tonight, man? Oh, uh, you know, we out here kicking, trying to party, trying to grab some females, you know what I'm saying? We know we do it real big, you know what I'm saying? Word up, word up, word up. Yeah, yeah, what's up? It's your boy K-Man from the Big Bad Assassin's Crew, man. You know, we just did that Fiesta Lakers yesterday for Kobe Bryant, because we're going to win this 2009 championship, baby. Assassin's K-Man, check it out. Word, word. word up, word up. So what's the latest with y'all, man? What y'all got in the works, man? Man, we got, we just got off tour from Arizona. We did the Fiesta Lakers show yesterday, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Lakers are about to take it in 2009, 2010, 2011. Lakers are doing it all big, you know what I'm saying? But we got, we got shit in the works, you know what I'm saying? We're just trying to do it real big, you know what I mean? Bush Rock, Funny Bones, Crew Store, so B-Boys. I got my man Kate Man from the Assassin's Crew doing it real big, you know what I mean? Producing, popping, breaking, whatever you need, we got that dollar. You know what I mean? So, okay, man, let me ask you, dog, what's up with the ladies' situation in here tonight? How's it looking up in the Sapphire Lounge, man? Oh, man, the ladies is look. Hey, man, the ladies is looking proper tonight, man. If I was somewhere where I wanted to be ladies, this is probably going to be the spot. You know, they're looking nice, fat, man. You know, they're doing good right here. That's why your boy, K-Man and Burst Rock is doing this in the building tonight, man. Check it out, dog. Ed Magic TV, K-Man. That's how we're going to do it, right? All night long. Word up. This is my city, man. You hear it first here always. But hey, real quick, Burst Rock, man. I know y'all from two different crews, right? Like, what's going down? First, I'm going to ask you what's popping for you and your crew in the future. You know what I'm saying? What you got, with, like, in the works? And same, and same for you, K-Man. You know what y'all got in the works? That we're at the Assassin's Crew. All right. Even though we're from two different crews, we work together. It's all one family. No matter what, it's one family. So and so, funny bones, assassins, it's all one family. So whatever I do, he does. Whatever he does, I do. That's just how we get down, you know what I'm saying? Each one teach one, you know what I mean? We, we, we ride together, we die together, we represent each other no matter what. We're in the works together, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna come up without my boy coming up. He ain't gonna come up without me coming up. And that's just how we get down. At Magic TV, so so be more funny bones groups. Assassin's group, that's just what it is. We got England in the house, we got Compton in the house, we got St. Gabriel Valley, Long Beach in the house. We're doing it real big up in this mofo. You know what I'm saying? Add Money TV, that's how we get down. You know what I'm saying? 2009, 2010, 2011, we're coming for you. Check it out. Lexani, that's right, we're doing it real big, man. The magazine doing it real big. Old English, 187 closing. You know how we do it, baby. Like Bryce told you, man. Assassins, Funny Bones, So to So, we are one big love, man. We're doing it large this year. We did Lakers, we did Lake Havasu. We about to do Vegas in like two months, so y'all need to come check us out, man. www.myspace forward slash SU2 Tone. That's where it's at, man. Big shout out. Let's do it tonight. Yeah, and Magic TV. Uh. Word up, you know what I'm saying? A little breaking at the end, that's what's up. You heard it here. This is my city on Ed Magic TV. I'm here with my peoples, we having a good time. It's ladies up here dancing on top of the bar, man, like Coyote Ugly style. Yo, you know how we doing? Inglewood to Hollywood to beyond, baby. I'm Apollo. Hey. That's what's up right there. Yeah. You're an actor and a rapper. Do you put one of those first or are, are you equally both, you know? That's a good question, man. They kind of interchange and go hand in hand, man. I actually 
was an actor before I got into the rap game. And usually it's the other way around. You know, nowadays you see more MCs getting their feet wet in the TV game. I did it the opposite, you feel me? But it's a good look, man. I appreciate it for what it is. God bless me with some talent. I'm just out here trying to utilize my skills, you feel me? And show these people that we, we're businessmen, you know, all us young entrepreneurs, whether we pick up a microphone or we in front of a camera, we have an agenda at the end of the day, you feel me? you on that man you know what i'm saying and that's a positive mentality you got you know what i'm saying that's gonna bring positive things you know what i'm saying but man what you got in the works right now fatal that's some well, big moves i'm i did comedy central with david allen greer in in, in the fall this oh, the show up, the chocolate news oh, okay. i was on the second episode i love that show man <laughs> thugs against high gas prices you check me out, you'll see. Word. Google me, I was on Thugs Against High Gas Prices, the second episode of Chocolate News. I'm on a new BET show called Played by Fame. It comes on every Friday night. It's kind of like a spinoff to MTV Punked, oh, okay. but this time the celebrity is pranking their fan. Oh, okay. So we switching it up on them. And I just play different characters, man. I did seven episodes of that. There's 25 episodes running, so, you know, look out for your boy. You know, I got episodes with E-40. Matt Kemp from the L.A. Dodgers, Jazzy Faye. I was on the first uh, episode with Young Buck, so it's a good look. Yeah, man, that's how that is, man. You got, you're a busy man, you know what I'm saying? And that work ethic, hey, to any artists out there or anybody just doing anything generally in life, you know, work ethic. If you don't, if you don't have that, you're just going to be staying in the one place, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to go nowhere. Yo, we up here with DJ. It's DJ Class, right, man? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And yeah, hey, that was a dope show right there you just did, man. So what you got going on right now? Oh man, I'm just I'm globe trotting right now, man. Just all over the place. The album's coming out uh, in fall. It's called Album in the Cold Spring. You know you can get it on iTunes. You can get it on Zoom.com. You can check me out at I'mDJClass.com. Doing Word it big, up. man. Trying to maintain and make sure we keep this keep the sound going. Word up, man. Like I noticed you doing a whole different flavor. You know what I'm saying? I know you're a DJ and you got those elements in your performance. I see it's getting a party real hype. You know what I'm saying? What were some of your influences that made you? get into oh, the game man. you know wow so many man i'm talking like uh molly mall from back in the day Word you know up. what i'm saying but wow i can't even, i can't even think of, i'm thinking too like, many huh like too all many the old school list. heads man that's what's up you know what i'm saying dr dre is one of big influence on me man Word uh jay-z big influence on me man uh funk master flex big influence yeah, on me biggie yeah. you know, that's like one of my favorites Tupac, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The way they deliver, they deliver with confidence. Yeah. And everybody just name is like dudes that got mad confidence. Word man, up. Kanye, full of confidence. Now so I want to try to do my thing in the same way, which they did. What up, it's your man DJ Class, aka the Digital Rockstar, aka I'm the Ish, and I represent my city of Baltimore. Yo, and this is my city. I'm Renita from Inglewood, and this is my city. Yo, what's up? I'm Chris. I'm repping New York, and you're watching This Is My City. My name is Lenita. And I'm on This Is My City. <laughs> with Apollo. With me. And this is Lenita. Alright? Peace. Born uncut, grimy and gritty. It's time for the show. This is my city. This is my, my city. This is my, my city. city. This is my city. This is my city. I met the ladies and the fellas too. Got the hot interviews and the hip hop news. The skits are hilarious. We live in your area. This is my city. This is my city.